Hi everyone, Cody here back with another Proto Tech Tip. And today we're going to talk about hem bends. So our custom manufacturing capabilities include the ability to do many different kinds of bends. These types of bends include edge flanges, jog bends, hem bends, step bends, and material offset bends. But today we're going to focus on hem bends. A hem bend is an edge of material that is bent 180 degrees and flattened on top of itself. What this does is adds another layer of rigidity to any edge of a part by adding a bend to what used to be just a cut or bare edge. These are particularly useful in long sections of material that you're worried about being unstable or floppy. It helps keep your edges straight and will not allow near as much flexing. Hem bends are typically bent on our press brake machinery. Because of how far we need to bend the edge, we need to use a larger die that allows the material to push down as far as possible, allowing what we call an overbend. So we refer to an overbend as any bend that is bent past 90 degrees. We then use a flattening die to bend it over on top of itself, pushing it flat. So in order for this to flatten on top of itself properly, we need to ensure that we have enough material to do so. We require a minimum hem bend length of 0.5 inches in order for this to work. One word of caution though, you need to be careful about where you place these hem bends. We need to make sure that we can access these areas with our bending tools and not be impeded by any surrounding geometry. If you're unsure about this, our engineering and design services team can double check your design once you've submitted it to make sure that there won't be any issues with creating the hem bend. If you'd like to learn more about our bending capabilities and processes, check out the links we've got below. Thanks very much for watching this week's Proto Tech Tip. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you guys next week for another one.